All right, Nick, let's talk about the Cleveland Browns. The Browns have come into a pivotal time of the year for themselves, really a pivotal season for them. This is where everything is hinging on turning the franchise around, and I think this is the year that they're going to get everything together, Nick. I know a lot of teams say that all the time, but I really do think the Browns have made a lot of very smart decisions recently that has shown they are ready to get this team on a roll this season to make a deep playoff push. Yeah, Mike, there was a lot of exciting news that dominated the headlines in the AFC North over Easter weekend, but this sneaky under-the-radar move that I think you found will be huge for Browns fans. I'm really excited to hear it. But before we get to that story, Browns fans, we want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. You know, we've asked a lot of people who watch this channel, give us your favorite quarterback, give us your favorite starting defensive end in team history. Interesting question for you guys. Give us your favorite Cleveland Browns backup quarterback your favorite number two man in team history and let us know who that guy is in the comments section below and please stick around to the end of today's video to hear a word from the partner of today's video neuro but all right Miles, what you got what's the latest out of cleveland yeah nick as you alluded to there's a lot of additions in the afc north uh this weekend but i think a key for the browns this uh weekend was an announcement of somebody they are not adding back to the roster and i have the article right here i'm going to bring it up uh, last summer, Browns running back Kareem Hunt thought he deserved more money. Now that he's a free agent, he's finding that NFL teams don't think he deserves much. Hunt will not be back in Cleveland where the Browns think his speed is slipping, Nick. And it, this was all according to Terry Pluto over at Cleveland.com. So I think this is a pretty big move for the Browns to not do what a lot of people think they would do and make a bad decision on re signing Kareem Hunt. Feel like they need this. I think. The Browns are coming to realize running backs are kind of a dime a dozen, and you already have a superstar guy in Nick Chubb. Uh, you know, lean on him. You don't need Kareem Hunt. And you honestly, if you have a guy like Deshaun Watson, you need to lean on your passing game a little bit more as well. You don't need two guys. And you, if you pay Hunt, really, no matter how much you pay him, it's probably going to be a bit of an overpay. So I, I think... This is a really smart move by the Browns, and I like to see the direction they're going. What do you think about this, you know, non-move, so to speak, for the Browns here, Nick? Yeah, I think it's really smart. Look, we've given the Browns a lot of hard times over the years about a lot of the things they haven't done smart. But let's give credit to where credit is due. Cleveland has, has quietly had one heck of an offseason. They've made smart move after smart move and not bringing back Kareem Hunt as probably the smartest move they've made yet. Because when you look at any running back, once you get around 27, 28, which I think Hunt is 27, and especially when you get close to 30, your production drops dramatically and the wheels kind of fall off very, very quickly. It's a, it's a, it's a tale as old as time. Tom Gurley is a superstar. Want the next season, he can't play. Ezekiel Elliott leads the NFL and rushing the next season he looks like he shouldn't even start in an NFL team anymore that's just what happens you hit a certain wall you fall off and you're just not very good anymore at the running back position that's just the reality of, of the deal in the NFL and the Browns did the smart thing by not bringing back a uh, cream hunt on any deal let alone like a cheaper deal or something like that on any deal because no matter how you look at it when you look at the the raw data or the uh, advanced analytics cream hunt was trending in the bad direction so if you go to the PFF pro football focus which is just evaluating game tape in 2022 cream hunt had by far his worst season according to the grading he graded out as a 67 that's seven points lower than his worst previous worst season which was in 2020 he's been steadily dropping since his rookie year which of course was the Kansas City Chiefs so he's on the decline when you look at the uh, the game film grading when you look at his yards per carry if you go to pro football reference 2022 was a career low in yards per carry 3.8 that's the first time in his career he's been under four yards per carry and just for good measure mice if you go over to over the cap.com they kind of do advanced analytics to see how much a player is worth they put a valuation on a player uh the the over the cap uh, gave kareem hunt a evaluation about three million dollars per year that's what he think that he should be worth against the cap last season he counted against the browns cap six million dollars right so again this is a guy who's valued much less than this his cap it would would lean to so even if they gave uh cleveland uh kareem hunt if cleveland gave kareem hunt like a one million dollar two million dollar pay cut it still would be an overpay his production is dr dropping dramatic uh, dropping dramatically excuse me whether it's the raw data or grading the film tape it's trending in the bad direction he's getting close to 30 he plays a position where it just doesn't look good so it makes sense move on smart move on the cleveland browns here i think this is one of those things that a lot of bad teams do they give money they put money where they shouldn't they put bad money after bad situations the browns did a smart thing here they kept this salary cap open for potentially other moves and they didn't spend it on kareem hunt even though he had a really nice career uh, with the cleveland browns so smart move by the browns here as they look to try and take that next step in the AFC north like you said to kind of turn it all around with watson behind center 
All right, Miles, we would like to give a special thanks to our partner today's video, Neuro. That's right, Nick. And I want you to go with me on a journey really fast. I want you to imagine this. It's fourth and goal in the big game, Nick. Your team is relying on you to make the big time game winning play. I know you've been in this situation before, Nick. The stadium is roaring. The clock is ticking. The game is on the line. But if only in that moment you were able to have some neuro gum. Neuro gum will help you stay concentrated and it gives you a burst of energy without a nasty crash. That's right, Mize. Neuro has thoughtfully curated ingredients and does endless, endless lab testing, which means that you can reach the right state of mind safely and consistently. That's the most important part. It gives you a clean burst of energy and focus without the jitters of coffee or any of those other energy drinks. That's right, Nick. And if you click our sponsor link in the description below, you can enjoy energy, calm, and focus whenever you need it.